Hey everyone, so today's question is about square and square root and the question here is find the smallest number that must be added to 1780 to make it perfect square. So let's see how to do this. So this is quite important problem. So here in this question 1780 is not perfect square and we have to make it perfect square. So this can be done by long division. So here I have taken a division and inside this division I am going to write down the number 1780. So long division is a different than the normal regular division. And in this method what we are going to do here is we are going to start pairing up the number from the right hand side. So here I am going to pair up the number 80 and I am going to pair up the number 17. After pairing up, we have to divide 17. So we're going to find a divisor. And we're going to take the perfect square near to 17. So we know that 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, and 4 square is 16. And next is like 5 square, which is nothing but 25. So here I cannot take 25. I cannot take even 9 because 25 is greater than 17 so I'll go with 16 here 4 squares are 16 so I'll write down here 4 into 4 or 4 4s are 16 and subtract it so you get the remainder 1 now I'm going to drop 80 here so I'm going to drop the entire pair 80 not a single digit 8 so now I got 180 here now to find this I have to find the divisor and how to do that take the double of the quotient so here the quotient is 4 so double of 4 is that is 4 2s are 8 so I'm going to write down 8 here but that is only a one single digit I need to find out a number in the ones place or the unit digit and remember the unit digit and the new quotient has to be same here this both number has to be same so for that we're going to take a number for example I'll write down 81 multiplied by 1 which going to give us 81 again here and next 81 multiplied by 2 this I cannot take because 1 and 2 are different numbers right 2 is a quotient 1 is in 1's place so they has to be same now I got 81 ones are 81 so but still it's small I'll go with next number so I'll write down here 80 sorry 82 multiplied by 2 so this is going to give me 164 it's still small let us try with 3 so 83 multiplied by 3 is 249 this number is greater so I'll go with 164 that is 82 twoza. so I'll write down here 82 multiplied by 2 we're gonna give me 164 so we'll just subtract it so once you subtract here you will get the remainder as 16 now so we got the remainder 16 this means that this given number is not a perfect square so what will be the next perfect square here we got the quotient 42 right it means if the number is perfect square the answer would have been a 42 so this means that the 42 square is less than 1780 remember I have taken 42 square because the quotient what we got here is normally a square root now so 42 square is a perfect square the next perfect square will be 43 square so 42 square is less than 1780 next perfect square will be 43 square so I'm not gonna open 42 I'll just write down 42 square is less than 1780 which is again less than 43 square which is nothing but 1849 so 1849 is a perfect square so we have to find out how much we should add to 1780 to get 1849 so just simply subtract it so 1849 minus 1780 so when you subtract it we'll get 69 as an answer so the smallest number which has to be added will be 69 if I add the 69 I'll get the answer so 69 I'm gonna add to the given number so or we can just conclude first here therefore 69 is the smallest number to be added and when I add this let us add this number so once I add this 1849 sorry 1780 plus 
69 will gonna give us 1849 and 1849 is a perfect square when you find out a square root of 1849 that is square root of 1849 you will get the answer 43 that's it so this is how you have to find out the answer whatever questions you got it that is 42 we got here you take the next number and take the square of it that's it i hope it's clear thank you so much for watching